Hi, so today I'm showing the Merrick 100 kilowatt, 215 kilowatt hour BESS. So inside here, is the first 50 kilowatt inverter. It's got four solar inputs, 100 volt maximum, really good low starting range. It starts at 150 volts MPPT. This side is the batteries. So you've got four high voltage batteries. Down the bottom there is your BMS. And this is split half to one inverter, half to the inverter on the other side. So it's very, very simple. And this whole system is very considered. So everything you see is insulated, three-point locking, which is stainless steel, which is really nice, air conditioned, and you can see the level of consideration. Even the air conditioning has ducting going into the back section of the batteries. This is where all your AC cabling comes in and out. So your grid, generator, backup supplies, everything all goes in there. There's a nice cover that goes on there. And, and again, being considered bushings for all the cable entries, it's, it's just a very nice system. And then for maintenance, if you come around this side, Both the inverters can be removed out the side. So if you ever have any troubles or faults, it's so easy to troubleshoot. Around this side, is the back side of the batteries. And you can see they're passively cooled batteries. They're not water cooled. The second inverter, and then all your solar connections are down there. Really easy with MC4 style connectors. Surge protection, that's another really nice feature. Surge protection on all the solar and on the AC, which was on the first side. Fire protection. And then this side is completely blank, so that could basically go up against a wall or something like that. Lifting points on the top. It's just a really, really great product. Very simple, 100 kilowatt maximum inverter capacity, 215 kilowatt hour battery capacity, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, insulated, waterproof, use cases. So these can be used in both on and off grid applications. In an on grid, it's perfect if the network supply isn't enough for your demand and you need some additional capacity. In off grid, it can have both a generator input and an AC input. Now this unit here is on at the moment, so we can have a look at the display. You can very clearly see battery capacity, voltage, demand from the network, demand to the installation, solar if solar is connected, and it's a very simple interface. So this unit here is the master, the one on the other side is the slave, but it just gives you an idea of how this would look in normal operation.